I sort of stumbled into game design. I was never really planning to create board games, but I was playing a lot of them. And I was thinking about them critically and thinking, what do I want in a game? And eventually an idea came to me one day about um, a way to do a worker placement mechanism. And that ended up being the start of Architects. Yeah, I think Sam was like 17 when I met him. This young, energetic, ginger kid and yeah. <laughs> I was just really impressed by his creativity and his drumming when we first met and that's how it started. So after I'd finished or sort of finishing the North Sea trilogy I was thinking I want to do another trilogy uh, with a different cardinal direction west or south or east and I was toying with the idea of maybe even doing like Wild West and South Pacific and maybe the East Dynasty or something and our band split up and then one day I think a few months later Sam messaged me saying hey I've got this idea for a game and I got in contact just to ask, hey, could you try out this game and just let me know if it's any good? What's the next steps from here? With no goal to sort of publish it. After playing Sam's game, I think twice actually, uh, I was trying to fit it into a, like, you're a knight and you're training squires and maybe your workers are all your squires and that kind of stuff. And it wasn't really working because I had the idea of the paladins as a theme, um, but mechanically it didn't feel right. And I was trying to avoid doing like, you're building buildings in a, in a medieval world. But it, after playing it and just thinking about it more, I was like, this actually just works. Like, it, it fits. Why try and like, break the norm and do something crazy? I still had a day job at the time. I was working uh, an office job and Shem would, you know, every day send through a few updates. Oh, here's some graphic design. Oh, here's this card ability. And I was so excited. I was, you know, working away at that just secretly <laughs> at the in the office. I was just so excited. I couldn't stop thinking about iterating and developing and making these games better and better and better. And the damage was done. Like I was a game designer or a developer <laughs> for life because I loved that that process of starting with something that's only got a little bit of potential, but some potential, and bringing it through to a game that is hopefully great. Yeah, there were kind of three sayings that, that Shen would send to me. It's too, too fiddly, it's too rulesy, that's a word, too rulesy. <laughs> and we can't show that with icons, you know, because I was coming up with these crazy ideas, like what if this could do this power, trigger this thing over here? But it was just too much information for players and Shem sort of brought it down, okay, can we make them simpler for players to understand, still have that same enjoyment. So it's been a lot of fun actually seeing Sam grow as a designer. Uh, when he first came, he was just excited to make a game, you know, like most new designers are. And then seeing him like basically take charge and really run with designs and development has been really exciting for me because I've done it by myself for so many years and had to like work through all these trials to see Sam like blossom so fast. Um, you're quite surprised, I think, when you see Paladins as like his third ever designed game. It's a surprise. Uh, most people don't design quality games from that early on. Co-designing is brilliant. It's it's my favorite thing in the in the game design space because there's that shared excitement. There's the shared carrying of the load as well, but the shared excitement. Oh look, this is actually working. Yeah. We're having fun. Also, you want you've got the same goal. You both want the game to be great, and that really helps with any disagreements when you realize actually we're disagreeing, but we want the same thing. So that helps you to come to a conclusion. Actually, no, we both want this game to be great. And there's just this perspective, which is slightly different as to the path to greatness. I think the main reason behind like each game being at an equal level for quality and how good the game is, is really that Sam and I were co-designing for the first time, really. And the fact that we both were pushing each other to actually make the best game possible. But also I think we, would, we felt the weight of responsibility of making each game, in a way it sounds weird, but to destroy Raiders of the North Sea. Because Garfield was known for Raiders of the North Sea as our like, main game. So I think we both really wanted to like, let's just smash the North Sea, like, destroy the other trilogy. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's our thing. Like, yeah. Let's not make that our one thing that people talk about. Let's make the best trilogy possible. My time in the West was a blast because I entered this um, very green. I didn't really know anything about game design and I came out of it by no means a master game designer but having learnt a bunch both from Shem but also there are things that we discovered together as we worked on these games about what, what we like in games and ways to innovate. So yeah the West felt like a really big success not just because of other people enjoying it but in terms of how we changed. Yeah, and for me I think it was really about refining like for myself personally as a designer 
refining like what I want a game to be. Uh, even before these games, like with the North Sea trilogy, I was still kind of learning what I liked in a game. And while I like all those games, my tastes have changed, but they've kind of solidified a lot more while designing the West, I think. So kind of know what we want to design and what I want to play as a gamer. Um, and that all happened during the West Kingdom.